Welcome back to the channel, guys. If it's your first time here, my name is Paco. I'm a photographer based in Manila. And today we're gonna to be talking about five tips that can help improve your photography. Now, this video is targeted towards beginners. So if you're more of an intermediate or advanced photographer, you might not find the information on this video to be useful. I'll link something up here in terms of composition. I've got a video on that. You might want to check that out. But if you are a beginner, if you've just purchased your first camera or trying to figure out how to take photo, better photos with your phone, this is a video for you. So we're gonna talk about five tips, we'll get right into it. Our first tip is to understand your camera. Whether you're using your phone camera, a DSLR or mirrorless camera, it doesn't matter. You have to understand the functions and the features available to you. Learn how to switch the shutter speed, where to go to adjust the ISO, how to adjust white balance, or even finding where to change your focal point. Now it's important you know where these are, but also that you find them like it's second nature, that like you don't have to think about it. You just know that, oh, I had to change my shutter speed, you go in there and change it, right? Because with photography, sometimes the moments are fleeting. You have a split second to take a shot, and if you miss it, it's gone. You can't take that shot again. So uh, understanding where to find certain functions and features will allow you to miss less moments and take better photos. So that's tip number one. Tip number two would be to understand how to shoot in manual. Now, do note I'm saying understand how to shoot in manual. I'm not saying shoot in manual right away. No, you can shoot in any mode that you want. You could be shooting in aperture priority and shutter priority, uh, or even you could, be, you could even be in full auto. That's great, there's nothing wrong with that. But understanding how manual works can help you to be a better photographer. So let's say you are in full auto and you take a shot and you find that it's not exposing the subject in your photo properly. It's a bit too dark. If you understand how manual works, you can go in, switch to manual and adjust the settings to your liking. So understanding how manual works does have its benefits, especially earlier on and later on when you start shooting in manual uh, right from the get-go. <laughs> Again, there's nothing wrong with auto, but try to understand how manual works. Now, tip number three would be to understand your lens. Now, when you first, when you buy your first camera, you'll have what's called a kit lens, usually an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Now, when I started out, a friend of mine advised me to stick to just that lens, and I did that for about a year before I even thought of getting any other lens. And that might sound like it's a bit overkill or a bit too much, but what I will say is if you just purchased your camera and you, you're, you, know, you're, you have zero knowledge about photography, try to stick to that kit lens that you have for a couple of months. And when I say stick to it, use it not just by like zooming in or out, I mean, Try to be, try to have it at a fixed focal length. If you're at its widest at 18, 18 millimeter, just try shooting 18 millimeter for a whole day. Following day, try shooting just at, at 50 millimeter. Uh, the reason why I bring that up is because understanding your lens, even its limitations with aperture, if, if, it's, uh, if it's a kit lens, will help you understand how it affects your shots, how it affects your composition. Your lens choice will affect how your image looks. So sticking to one lens can help you understand that better. Now, I'm not saying don't buy any lenses. If you wanna buy a few lenses right from the get-go, by all means do so, but you might find it a bit of a hindrance in the sense that you don't know which lens to choose or you might favor one lens over the other and you're missing out on certain things. 
So understanding the lens that you have and then purchasing a lens because you know what certain limitations your kit lens has and why you want to purchase a certain lens, the intention behind that, that'll help you take better photos or be a better photographer. So tip number three, understand your lens or your lens of choice. Now, tip number four is to be intentional with your photos. And when I say intentional, I mean, don't, the term is spray and pray. You know, sometimes we need to use quick bursts. We need to hold down that shutter button and just go fire where I click, 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 right? But that's because we need to get a series of shots and pick one, like if we're shooting sports, right? If let's say it's basketball and you know, the, the action's really intense and let's say a player's gonna go in for a layup, you wanna hold down that shutter button, shutter button and take a burst of shots to get the best shot. But when I say be intentional, is to position yourself, position your subject, and understand the background, the environment that you're in, that you frame the shot that you, the way you want it. You're not just clicking away and just clicking and clicking and clicking and taking so many shots without putting thought into it. So take your time, work the scene is the term that they use, and take shots, look at it, and understand why you don't like it or how to make it better. So that's tip number four. Be intentional with your photos. Now, the last tip might seem pretty obvious, but to some, it doesn't. I, I, th I think a lot of people overlook this, but uh, my last tip is to fail fast. And when I say fail fast, I mean that you're a beginner. There's something that's new to you. So you won't, you'll quickly realize that the camera, having a, a, a good camera, doesn't make you, your photos instantaneously better. You're gonna have to understand certain composition techniques and how to shoot in manual and how that works. And sometimes you're gonna get shots that are awesome, but a lot of times you might get shots that are not that good. And that's okay, because you're new to it. This is something you've never done before, right? So fail fast, but you know, get up and take more shots. Take a lots of photos. It's just important to understand why the photos didn't work out. If you take a shot, look at it. Maybe there was something in the background. If you were taking a portrait and you've got a nice park scenery, right? Maybe there was scaffolding in the background and some construction. So again, in the future, you know to move around and put that out of frame. Or maybe, you know, you were too close or too far or the shutter speed was too slow or too fast. Just take the time to understand why you don't like those photos. And, you know, in the future, you'd be, you'd be mindful of how you're shooting. You'd be intentional, going back to tip number four, and you'd, you know, set certain settings, shutter speed, aperture, the way you intend to take the photo. Again, it, it's, it's gonna be a long journey and you're gonna learn a lot of things and it's gonna take months, if not even years uh, for most people. And it's a never ending learning process. So you're gonna fail, fail a lot, take a lot of shots, just keep on shooting and learn from your mistakes. And uh, yeah, enjoy it. So that those are the five tips, hopefully, you found the video helpful, especially for beginners. Uh, if you'd like to check out some other stuff, I'll link a playlist here specifically for beginners in, in photography. And uh, yeah, don't forget to drop a like if you found it helpful, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.